Hey guys, Dr. Josh Jagoda here, and I'm going to show you how to improve your squat and your deadlift using one exercise because we know that deadlifts and squats are important. And what we notice is that if you don't have that hip mobility, we're going to see people start to injure themselves. They may get some hip impingement, but more importantly, we're probably going to have problems within the lower back. And then as a result, you're out of training, right? So let's prevent that. So what we'll start doing is we'll, we'll notice as the hips start to come down that they may be mobile enough to do this and as they're not mobile anymore they'll start to hinge forward. And now a certain hinge is okay if, if you have the good posture for it, like right around here is okay, but once we start to kind of bend forward and we start to round the back and then you're starting to lift, deadlift from here or if you're squatting, front squat or whatever, you come here and then you start to hinge forward. Now we're going to start having some back issues. Now, so what I like to do is I like to force the individual. We have two, well, correction, we have many ways to do this. So we might have to do multi-part series here. So what we'll start with is one of the things that I like to do as a simple, easy progression that doesn't use much weight. Now, We'll have the individual go right up against, I like to have some sort of like wall like this or, or edge because then they can hold on to the side here. So what we'll do is we'll get into their squatting position or their deadlift position. We'll have them go to the point where they can go. And if they start to hinge forward, well, they really can't. So they're going to hit their head right here on the wall, right? And that is the whole point. It forces them to drive down into the hips. So what you'll start to do is you'll drive into your hips here. As you start to realize, like, oh man, I'm starting to hinge forward, you'll grab the wall and you'll lower yourself. And that might be enough. And then you'll come back up. As you do that, you're gonna try to maintain that good posture coming up, come back down, hold that mobility, you can walk kind of mobile through it, like kind of wobble right through here, kind of a little bit of bounce, you can kind of tuck a little bit, and then you'll slowly pull yourself back up. And then you'll repeat that over and over and over again. And you'll notice that as soon as you kind of stretch out your hips a little bit after that, you'll notice you'll be able to come through and start to deadlift and squat a little bit better. It will take some time. This is a progressive exercise and we really need to free up a lot of the hips. So make sure at first, this is a good starter point, that you're not overloading yourself. And the reason I have the wall is to unload your own body weight from coming down because this may be detrimental. Once you get a little bit more advanced, you can start adding some weight, you can add uh, kettlebells, you can add other things to help you progress deeper into that squat. But this is pretty much phase one. You'll come down, come through here. Uh, this is a good comfortable position. Maybe you can't go any further, maybe you can. Maybe you can further here, but I started to round like that and that's not good. So once I start rounding, you want to avoid those mistakes because you don't want to train those bad habits. So we'll come back up and then we'll hold. And then I'll slowly start to climb myself back out, just like that. And you'll repeat that probably about 10 to 20 times throughout the day or throughout that series of movements and really in order to help progress that squat, progress those hip mobilities so that you really don't end up doing this. Because this is really important and it's a really key foundation and I see a lot of patients who hurt themselves as a result of a lack of hip mobility. All right guys, thanks for stopping by. I'm Dr. Josh Jagoda, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you guys next week, bye.